welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java project which is entitled as probably secure and lightweight identity based authenticated data sharing protocol for cyber physical cloud environment so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about the project so basically this project deals about the cyber physical cloud environment and also the protocol proposed lightweight identity based authenticated data sharing protocol to resist the cca that is chosen cipher text attack so here you can see the example of cyber physical cloud computing architecture so this protocol is designed to achieve the authentication between a physical device and the cloud controller and provide a secure end to end secure communication in cloud computing using ibe scheme so this is the main objective of this paper so here you can see the network model of ibads protocol that is identity based authentication data sharing protocol here you can see the entities data owner data consumer the pkg and the cloud controller and here you can see the the flow of the work so let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project in netbeans java netbeans 8.2 so first let me load this project into the netbeans so go to file menu and click open project and select the source code folder so wait until this complete project is loaded into the netbeans and also make sure that now you have attached the mysql database and before execution make sure that to turn off your windows firewall and also if you have any antivirus turn it off for temporarily because in case if you are having turned on your firewall or antivirus you could not receive the keys in the email during the execution of the project so temporarily i will stop it till the execution of this project so let me come back to the netbeans and here you can see the project is completely now loaded into the netbeans now just click this project and right click the project and click run and this is the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title probability secure and lightweight identity based authenticated data sharing protocol for cyber physical cloud environment and here you can see the abstract of the project that is mentioned in the base paper and here you can see the entities data owner data consumer the pkg and the cloud so first let me go to the data owner part so here in the data owner part you can see the login and register so as i am a new data owner i'll be clicking the register part first so first make sure to enter the details in the data owner registration part and after entering the details click sign up now the registration is success and click okay now go to the data owner login part so you enter the details that we have used during the registration part and click login and here you can see the login has failed so as i am a new user first the cloud should give an approval to the data owner or the data consumer so go to the cloud part so enter the details for the cloud login and click login now the login is successful for the cloud part and click okay 
here you can see the welcome screen for the cloud controller and here you can see the options of cloud files data owner consumers graph etc so first we'll go for the data owner part and in the data owner you can see the data owner details where you can see our detail that is the owner jp infotech which i have registered with the email id that is waiting part because the first thing is like that the, the cloud controller should give an approve to the data owner so first let me approve this user now you can see this user has been approved here you can see it has been approved now log out now go to the data owner part received an email call your data owner registration is approved now you can check in your email that you could have got an email saying that your data owner registration is approved and now you can log in with the data owner credentials and click login now the login is successful and here you can see the welcome screen of the data owner with the data owner name and here you can see the options of upload file my files downloaded files log out so first let me go to the upload file so in the upload file option you can see the file enter the file keyword the select the file and the preview file so first we let, let me create a file now let me create a file in the d drive and paste this content and name it as IBADS and name it as IBADS now let me select this file IBADS and select this file the D drive And here you can see preview of the file also and before uploading as we are dealing with cloud computing project so we should upload the file in the cloud so for that purpose we have used drive hq cloud service provider where our data will be stored in this cloud so let me show you that part so first click upload So now you can see the file is uploaded successfully and click OK. And you can go to my files part. So in the my files part, you can see the file ID, the file name, the file keyword, the decryption key and uploaded date and time. So this is made sure that the file is uploaded in the local host part. So let me check in the cloud part also. So go to drive HQ and login part. So now in Drive HQ, you can see the file name IBADS with the date 4-5-2021, the time 12-33 and click the file name. So here you can see the file contents are encrypted because the, the plain text or the secret the text should not be displayed to the intermediates. So it has been encrypted in the cloud. So let me log out from the cloud part and also it is made sure that we have uploaded the file in the cloud also so coming back to our project so let me log out from the data owner part so go to the data consumer part so as i am a new data consumer let me click registration part and enter with some different details called jay prakash with some different email id
and click sign up so now the registration is successful and click ok now as we done for the data owner data consumer should also be approved by the cloud controller so go to the cloud controller before logging it and click login now the login is successful and click ok now go to the data consumer part so here you can see the data consumer name Jay Prakash which is in the waiting state so the cloud controller should approve it so click approve so now the file has been approved and click log out so now you can go to the data consumer and also you can check your email where you can see hi j prakash your data consumer registration is approved now you can also be able to log in with the data consumer login part with the details that you have given during the registration part and click login and the login is successful and click ok and this is the welcome screen for the data consumer and here you have the option of search the file requested file downloaded files and log out and go to search file option here you can enter the query so let me enter IBADS and click search and here you can see the resultant files so the file ID, the file name, the data owner name, the uploaded date and time. So once if this data consumer wants this file, you can request to the data owner by clicking the request. So now the request has been sent and in the requested file, you can see the status is waiting and once after approve only you can able to download it. So let me log out this part and go. Now let me log in to the PKG part. Now the login is successful and click OK. So this is the home screen of the PKG part, welcome screen of the PKG part and here you can see the file request, the file key request. So where you can see the the user who requested the Jayaprakash is in waiting state. So here the PKG should be able to manage this uh, sending the keys. So PKG sends the keys by clicking send key. So it is now empty because the request has been satisfied and now you can check your email if the file has been approved you could have received the key so here you can see the key has been received now this data consumer can able to access the file so go to the data consumer login so go to the requested file and here you can see the PKG has been approved the file so now click download so here is ask for the secret key if we entered some invalid keys it will be verify and say it is failed so you enter the exact key click download now you can check your email and copy the key of it and click down verify so now you can see the asking to save the file so let me save it to the desktop so now the file is being verified and downloaded you can open and see the content of it and here in the downloaded files you can see the file which is downloaded from the which the file name and the owner name and downloaded date and time and log out in the pkg part you can see the pkg part you can see the requested file details what all the file details have been requested and what it is been approved or not and click log out and let me go to the cloud part so in the cloud part uh, already we have seen the data consumer data you own as part now go to the cloud files part where you can see what all the files available but it's not accessible and data owner part or the data owners are available and approved approval of it and data consumer is same as the data owner or all the data 
consumers available and authorization of it and final is the graph part so graph part you can see the analysis with the the average encryption time and decryption time so this is not a static one this is a dynamic so it varies according to the files that you are uploading and downloading so you can also save these results by clicking this part print save as jpeg or png let me show you so let me save this chart and show you so in this way you can also export this results and log out and this is all about the project probably secure and lightweight identity based authenticated data sharing protocol for cyber physical cloud environment and thank you for watching